Hi, I'm Liz Ake, and this is In a Heartbeat from the studios of WMTV, Grosse Point War Memorial in Grosse Point Farms, Michigan. But I feel sort of like an imposter sitting here because there are two other hosts of In a Heartbeat sitting here as well. So I'm going to have them introduce themselves, and we're going to talk about today, which is the fifth season of In a Heartbeat. We're so pleased. So David, you are my next host coming in and working with me. So introduce yourself. What do you do? I'm Dr. David Bali. <laughs> I'm a dermatologist and a uh, part-time medical interviewer. <laughs> That's true. It's so, it's so it's growing. <laughs> and good friend of the both of you. Yes. 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 It's been yeah. so fun. And Joan. Yeah. Uh, Joan Patrick Morris, and I'm with uh, Health Plan, and um, I work in uh, clinical operations. And uh, it's just always wonderful to bring interesting topics to the show. <laughs> it is so, so here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the new season coming up. We're going to tell you, give you, you know, insight of who's going to be on the show in the next month. But, you know, as usual, anytime you have an idea or somebody you would like to see on the show, you can contact us. And I have to say personally, via LinkedIn, via Facebook, I have been approached by different physicians or people who say, I, you know, I'm a physician here and I have somebody I think you should speak with. So anytime you have uh, an interest, I'm Liz Aiken on Facebook. My website, n new website now, is lizaiken.tv. But also, you know, you always have the studio phone number. That's 313-881-7511. I'll say it again. 313-881-7511. You can always call the studio. Ask to be referred to, or call that number, be referred to the studio. Leave your message with whomever is in the studio, and believe me, we'll get the message. We'll get back with you with a new show or with a contact to that person. So, so, mm. fifth year, this is so cool. And I have to say personally that when I wanted to start this show, I mean, so many years ago, at that time, there was not, this is really going back, <laughs> there were no medical shows on TV, nothing. The only thing that we would see occasionally was on PBS. There would be a panel uh, with somebody, you know, talking to physicians. And that was all we saw at that time. But from when you have a germinating, you know, idea in your head to when it comes to life, many years and many other shows came on, you know. But still, I'm, I'm so pleased that we are in our fifth season. People probably um, don't realize you predated Dr. Oz and the doctors and all the different shows that we see now. That's true. I, I did. That's true. That's true. This is true. Yeah. Well, and look at so the mimicking you. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, right. You. Really, I'm going like, okay. Oh, Liz has been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. But it is really fun because even as before I moved, you know, out, um, I never had a day that went by in Gross Point, whether I was at the hospital or anywhere, that somebody didn't stop me with a comment about the show. And a lot of the times the comments were from physicians. I had th probably the best one, though, ever, I have to say. This goes way back to one of my first shows ever, on an, in my uh, first show, Positively Positive. I was in the hospital, and I was on a unit where somebody was being wheeled down, a young guy, younger than I, by far, being wheeled down the hall, coming back from surgery. So he probably had a tad anesthesia still in his system. And <laughs> nobody knew what I did because I didn't say anything. So some of the docs knew. But the nurses knew, you know, I, I never said what I did outside of the hospital. And this guy is being wheeled by, seriously, being wheeled by me. And as he's wheeled by, he looks up and he goes, I know you. I love your show. <laughs> and they thought he wow. was like hallucinating. <laughs> and I didn't clarify. I just loved it because it was almost too fun. But I don't you there find... Are, there are a lot of comments about that, uh, our show, that people yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the community will spontaneously mm -hmm. come up and, right. and say to me that they've seen one of our shows right. and how much right. they really value it right. and yeah. how it's very informational it is and how they really look to it as a source of great information. Yeah, yeah. isn't it? Really? What do you see, I mean, um, so here's an interesting one. I go to the, <laughs> the Panera Bread in our community, and it's always interesting to, um, oh, um, the guy that's fixing my sandwich or salad, he'll go, oh, yeah. saw your show last night, and there are people <laughs> around, and I go, so, you know, it's really interesting because it sort of prompted me to, you know, you can't really, if it's after 11, you've 
a.m. You better not run out and just looking like a slab. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> just garden. I'm about to get coffee. But you know what I mean. It's like you, you did too. Isn't it? Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first had lunch with you when we were <laughs> oh talking God. about it. it really, so this fun. is. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And yes. um, we were sitting there eating, and I, I forgot the restaurant, but it was at the Hill at the time. And hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. And I'm going, oh my. You know, it's just. I mean, yeah. It's really funny, and here's another thing that I have seen is that um, I remember one time interviewing a, a physician, and, um, and she was like, mm, "Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the show. I don't know what value. I don't, you know, but <laughs> but I'll do it." So I just said, "Just just like have some faith in the situation here." This after she did the show, she <laughs> called me back. She goes, "She goes, I can't believe it." She said, "And just you know, she's not even in the area. Of course, now she can get the show." Um, but she said, I'm not even in the area. And she said, I, every time I go to work or I'm in the hospital, I have somebody stopping me to say, I saw your show, doctor, and I love what you said, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun because then you see that this, and I have to go back, and I've said this before. Anytime a physician or a professional person is taking time away from their office and spending time with us in the studio, I... I think of it as yes. time that they're not billing. And yes. I mean, that mm -hmm. no, sounds costly, but that's life. That's reality. Yes. Yes. So when you know somebody has taken time off from their busy day to be in the studio with us, uh, that's when I say I'm beholden. Yeah. Truly. Same I'm, here. Mm -hmm. Same here. I mean, really. I go like, wow. You know, yeah. my recent latest, my recent interview the last, uh, was um, the doctor that came down and works out of Ann Arbor. Yeah. And, you know, we'll talk right. about that. But, you know, I mean... I was like, you really, you know, even when she agreed, I'm going, <laughs> she's really, she's really going to take some time out of her busy schedule to come down, yeah. but she knows mm -hmm. the importance of, of, of sharing the mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. How do we get the information out? Right. And that's right. what the show does is right. bring information. And it, you know, and I just love the times that we're on that, yeah. you know, oh. I didn't catch it this time. Hey, nice segue, Joan. Ah! Because, <laughs> good one. Wait, we didn't plan this one either. No. All right, here's the new deal. This is the new season, and our show is kicking off on, uh, actually, September 3rd. I think that's the day after Labor Day, anyway. Um, so we have completely new hours, and make sure you check, because every show on this network has new hours. And multiplied. We are on now four times, as if three wasn't enough. Now we're on four. Okay. So here's the scoop. Check this out. Page 17 will have the times for everybody who is involved with this network. So check it out so that you suddenly are not dis you know, disappointed or whatever that you've missed a show you surely did not want to miss. So that's at the new catalog and page 17, the pink page. And... Um, so what are you thinking about? When you're thinking about the new season, what do you think about, David? Well, I, I'm excited to have uh, some guests in the queue yeah. that um, <laughs> I'm very happy uh, with and I think will be uh, great. I have a, uh, a specialist who's a pediatrician who uh, has a focus on pediatric uh, behavior and development, and she'll be talking about nice. autism, <coughs> oh, and, nice. which is something that is in the news a lot and people are so concerned about. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I also have somebody who's going to be uh, focusing on bullying and how to recognize that, how we wow. may deal with yes. that, awesome. and, and um, the impact that it has on society today. There will be uh, a specialist in rheumatology talking about arthritis and all the new treatments available for that and, and some of the ways that we can get started on treatment mm -hmm. and uh, a really great a uh, notable expert on, on, uh, in rheumatology. Yeah. And uh, I have a pain specialist coming in. You know, so many people have chronic pain issues. Yes. And, yes. and yes. despite many pain treatments available, they just still, their pain is not it's controlled. And it can right. really be an awful thing for a person to, to manage and to live with that on a day-by-day -day basis. So uh, he will be here. And then um, I'm going to actually interview my brother. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does he know it yet? <laughs> uh, yes, he does. Yeah, yes, so he good. does. He does. So, uh, He's been informed. <laughs> I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, and then I, there's another lady uh, who um, is very inspiring. She went through a very difficult uh, time in her life with a uh, form of cancer, including all its treatment and and the emotional, physical aspects of that. And she was looking for a way to 
to uh, you know get back on track and to to be motivated and to heal her body and she went to exercise and she actually developed uh, her own uh, Zumba uh, what a blast um, instructional class and became certified it's very inspire inspiring oh and she's a great person that's so really fun. Th those Wait, are the things that come to mind. Are you going to be doing do any Zumba in? You'll in have the to studio? tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I don't get it. New York, no, you have to send me a DVD so I can watch. You I may wonder not what's going watch on. That's, that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cat's away. I wonder what's going on in this joint. You know? <laughs> so cool. Anybody, any topic that you would like, somebody whom you'd like to sit down with and talk, and you haven't yet. Oh my gosh! Uh, you never know. I, I think the choices are are endless, mm -hmm. and I would I would really be open to anything. And it doesn't, you know, as with the last person I mentioned, it certainly doesn't have to be a physician. Anybody involved That's in right. healthcare, uh, and uh, you know, I, I'd like to sometime interview an epi epidemiologist. I think that oh, that yeah. would be interesting. Maybe a um, a home healthcare worker, somebody, mm -hmm. uh, a hospice. Uh, Out in the fields, literally. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I think the, the opportunities are endless, and perhaps many of which I haven't thought about. But mm -hmm. uh, right, very cool. And you never know, because as I said, I have been contacted through social media, and neither of whom I had met of these surgeons, and yet I have had the opportunity to do some great shows with them, and I was really, you, you just don't know, and it's so cool. And another one comes to mind. Yeah. It's just. Uh, and you were talking about sometimes people contact with you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mark Weber, who you, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Con contacted yes. me, um, and we're going to do a show together on audiology and hearing loss. Oh, my gosh. Uh, with Excellent. A, with uh, an audiologist. And so uh, there's some neat oh, things wow. that have come around yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be available for them as well. And uh, uh, it'll, it's a unique um, service that's offered only mm -hmm. one place in our state. Mm -hmm. So. You know what, I should ask you, too, a website. Do you have a website if people want to contact you directly? What, what website can they use? I, I actually have a couple of websites. Mm -hmm. I have a personal website, which mm -hmm. is uh, drbali.com. Okay, so spell it. Spell it. Uh, B-A-L-L-E. Okay. <laughs> and that's how they can link to your shows. Yes, and that's kind of a personal website, and all my shows are, list yeah. are actually on YouTube. Um, uh, in a heart, you can If you went to YouTube and you... Uh, Put in search my name and, yeah. or in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. the shows come up. Right. And also, uh, they're on my website. And I have a second website, which is a practice website, which mm -hmm. is uh, grosspointdermatology.com, which right. we recently are redoing. So it's all fresh and new and, Perfect. and more user friendly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's good. Because even as they go to your site, if they want to contact you, they're going to look at all the shows you have. And that is so easy to and pull there's, up. There's and a way a show. On, on my personal website, drbali.com, that people uh, can actually email me and yes. ask questions and right. things like mm -hmm. that and be interactive. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, very good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. And Joan, yeah. what are you thinking about for this new oh, season? Oh, boy. I am just, <laughs> you know, um, when we dined last evening, I was talking to you about this. I really want to dive into the uh, Affordable Care Act. I really want to help understand, help the community understand the, the mandates, uh, the compliance and the legal issues and things that are um, not going to be coming to be right now and mm -hmm. they're going to be on the back burner. Um, my shows are being, you know, they, they evolved, you know, it, it, as someone brings me the guests at yeah. this time. Yeah, but as it? I prepare so to amazing. retire, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, that's a little plug there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 2013, um, I really look forward to really being able to um, have a more planned schedule, but it just works out that, oh my, I want uh, at dinner, at a function, I'm going to have the, uh, so a representative from the National Kidney Foundation. You know, and then from there, I'm going to go into like, you know, my, my, for September, we're, we've got mm -hmm. a wonderful show, uh, Dr. Lisa Norm, uh, Newman that's oh, yeah. from Ann Arbor, mm -hmm. U of M. I mean, that's mm -hmm. going to happen. Playworks is coming, you know, down to talk about the importance of kids and uh, after school activities. And right. it's so on time as we uh, try to, as, as a, the Detroit Public School sets up mm -hmm. in many mm -hmm. of the schools where kids are in school seven days a week. I mean, is that unreal? I don't get and that. I mean, oh, I, like, I like it so that mm -hmm. kids can stay busy. I like oh, it. And I've wow. always been a proponent of 
that do they really need three months out? Not oh, all I kids yeah. have all, you know, where they have something to do. Yeah. I, you know, my right. grandmother would always say the idle time is the devil's workshop. I, I, I you know, I just, I mean, really. And yeah. you see some of the things that are happening. <laughs> I, I mean, love that. I mean, is that a kid? But, I mean, is that a kid? And, and that's with Janine Gant, who's a yes. judge. She's a total judge. Yes. And yeah. so we're hoping to pull in and, and Nicholson. Hi. And then finally, <laughs> I'm hoping, if she's listening, uh, Pat, uh, 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 Dr. Patricia Maryland from St. John with Providence to come in and talk about, oh. wouldn't that be good for me that's to so do great. an interview? So that's a plug out there <laughs> for those that are listening and the PR firms and yeah, companies and right. marketing. Yeah, anybody. I mean, you know, that's because, so I mean, and have people from the American Hospital Association mm -hmm. help us to understand what's going on. We're moving from staying in the hospital to the post-acute care. Things are being ha are happening after discharge. Oh, yeah. And there is a real gap there. Mm -hmm. And I was talking mm -hmm. to David about that prior to the show that, like, we, you know, do you understand what your discharge says? Did you understand the person who was telling you your discharge mm -hmm. summary? Where's the gap? Did you get your meds filled? The, out, the, the outreach worker, the home care agencies, they're such a huge, they're coming into play big. You remember those oh, days when... I, want, I did home care and I did I, hospice I care. I did too. I mean, and you, I know when you go into a home and they really do not understand. And sometimes no. you're in the hospital going, because I've done that too from the hospital, and you're going over it and you, they're going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you know what, truly, all they can see is the car coming up to the front, front door yes. and then flooring right. and leaving the door. And you say, did you understand? I'm so yeah. out of here. Did you understand what so, the doc said? Did you know. get your meds filled? Don't know. Right. Do you know when your next appointment is? Do you know what specialist you're seeing? Do you know your meds? That We've got to get there because mm -hmm. of the readmission rate is unreal. It's staggering. I, yeah. So, just, I mean, you know, look at the guests like that. Mm -hmm. That's it's someone with some ideas. Someone that's people that have put organizations that have, and, and health systems or health professionals yep. and allied health that have put that together. There's a whole specialty on this now. And it, it, is. And it really addre it addresses compliance. It addresses recidivism, yes. which is the repeat admissions. Yes. You know, we, um, we know that for, for our viewers. But there is a whole series, and it really is, is a collaboration between different hospitals with these specialists. And it's fascinating because we have to have a, a more intact and intelligent but doable right. system for us, for right. all of us. And this effect, you know, even in the hospital, you know that the patient will be uh, addressed by the physician and the family member, hopefully, is in the room. And depending on what's going on with the patient, Dr. Lisa Room mm -hmm. and I, as a nurse, at, which is a patient educational you know, advocate, I'm saying, do you understand? And they'll, yeah, yeah. And then I have ask a question that is somewhat leading question and a lot of times they just don't or they don't get the finer points right. of it. And that's really true in, in everyday practice mm -hmm. as well uh, in even in outpatient uh, dermatology we try to be educational and tell mm -hmm. patients how mm -hmm. to do things which I think is one of the reasons I, I see your point because it, it is a big <sighs> issue I think in all aspects of healthcare mm -hmm. yes. that, that um, we should almost give them a, our patients a little test yes. to see if they really yeah, understood right. Right. and right. got the message that we wanted to, them to receive so yeah. that they can uh, get better and, mm -hmm. and improve. Because so, so many times people don't, somehow they miss it. I think they're, they have a little bit right. of white coat syndrome or they're <laughs> relief or a it's hospital true. or they, I was telling Joan somebody had a shot <laughs> and they just think, oh, I'm glad I'm over that. And they're yeah. not listening to what you have to say. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and I just saw this before I even talk about my own guests, but I just saw this uh, recently with a friend of mine who is, you know, hyper intelligent and uh, not intimidated by anybody. She's mm. in production, she's a producer, Oscar nominee for her documentary. I mean, this one is a very smart, very slick New York. She went in for a procedure and she said, would you mind coming along? And as they were talking about the procedure, it was uh, complete confusion to her. And she knew one thing, but she thought what they were talking about was just a longer terminology for what she was really having, and it wasn't. And so I like, I don't mean to be rude, but it, or what are we, you know, blah, 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 what are we here for? And so we had clarification. But I said to her, after, what did you think they were talking about? And she said, I just figured it was something I didn't understand mm -hmm. by that specific word. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, if this is somebody who's smart, who gets it, and who isn't afraid to ask, and she just assumed that they knew better than she did, and of course they do on their own specialty, 
but you you have to know really what paperwork you're signing yes. or signing off on and that I, 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 it was such a lesson for me to sit yeah. there and hear this yeah. I also think there's a lot of being a patient creates a lot of anxiety so oh, yeah. so when mm -hmm. that comes into play you know thoughts or worry or concern you know we, it's just hard to absorb something mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that in terms of a learning experience. Right. Right. I, and I've seen that so many times too, between doing you know, uh, critical care nursing and then home care nursing, hospice nursing, and then back into the critical care uh, arena, is that I saw if they're, and, it, and it's really f the same for any of us, even when I was dealing with my uh, mom when she was critically ill and, and dying, is that when our own um, anxiety levels are up, anxiety is up, cognition is down, memory is down and with all of that compliance is down because right. you don't even know what the heck they said right right and it, it's frightening but let, let me get to what my stuff so is so what are you doing liz yeah, well, yeah what are you doing liz <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right because <laughs> these guys are good because i tagged the show as medicine science and technology and that's when uh john clore too that you know so he fell naturally into this with the, anything with the car with technology whether it was safety or just you know automotive technology, it was perfect. And again, hats off to him yes. that he has his own cars and contacts. He's doing a great job. He's yeah. so cool. And yeah, make sure you check the thing and follow up. Uh, you know, check your schedule for John Clore's cars in context. Uh, I I'm so pleased. And this is I still when I see John Clore, I go, the mm. Bat Burger second ten from our Psycho Burger days <laughs> at TV20. <laughs> That's another show. That's another story. Okay. So here's what I'm doing this so far this spring, no, or this spring, this fall. Number one, I am launching that TV. so you'll be able to go to that, like Tavis Smiley or Charlie Rose, and pull up the shows, and there'll be pages of different things. I, I have a blog, and so you, it's more interactive, and again, like you said, there'll be places where you can actually enter information and that, that type of stuff. Um, Dr. Ali Shakir who was on this show in the very, very first season. I think he was my second physician whom I interviewed um, low these many years. We'll be back to do two shows. One show will be about the, again, he's an EP, electrophysiologist. He's the guy you see when you hear about a pacemaker or more the electrical conduction of the heart. Uh, he's like one step past the cardiologist if you need his services. He'll be here. We're going to first talk about what is the deal with the heart and what is the electrical conduction? What is cardioversion? What is ablation? What are all these things that you hear about and you're still not even too sure when, why, or what? Uh, we'll talk to him. The second show is fascinating because he went through a special a program, uh, you know, furthering his education like many physicians do. And he said, it has changed how I look at medicine. I go, oh man, this, we need a lot of time to talk about that. I'll be talking to him. Dr. Stan Lee, who is an orthopedic spine specialist surgeon, but he's a consultant for um, uh, spine surgery, and again has a whole different way of looking at medicine, will be seeing uh, two shows with him. And when I have these doctors with whom, or whoever it is with whom I'm sitting down for two shows, I try and put them together. So it ends up being the last week of one month and the first week of the next month. So it's like part one, part two together, okay? Um, Steve Garrisey, who was my um, producer besides Dr. Julie Corbett at TV20 at Grosse Point South High School. Steve Garrisey was our, our, the chief of our studio. And I'm pulling him back. I haven't seen him in years. He's going to be back. We're going to talk about really what is going on in the studio with technology, but we're going to also talk about what is going on with TVs and 2,000 remotes. What's the deal with that? And I have a couple of interesting comments, even from Walter Isaacson, from an interview. He was in uh, New York. Um, let's see, Jeremy Dilak, who is our editor, will be on the show <laughs> talking about the website, but talking about music and, again, technology. Because it is so, it's so different. And, and it's sort of like what goes around comes around. And some of the stuff that I knew is a great thing, and I'll give you two words. I love it. Vinyls. And record players. <laughs> it's <laughs> dope. When, he said, when he said those words, I go, you got to be kidding me. You know, this is so fun. Yeah. He'll be here. Lauren Parrott will be back. And she is, oh, a, well, she, I know, this is so well, great. Wait, She's well, part of the crew. Yeah. And it's important to me to have everybody see the people who really work behind the scenes here. So we're going to talk about, number one, her, her update with MS, her really her journey, but where that journey has taken her, not just dealing with the disease, but how she has gone out, stepped out 
to educate others. It is fascinating. We'll talk about what she actually physically does in the studio. And I want to say look ahead because someday you're going to see an interview with Kermit Potter, and I'm really pleased about that. No. We're gonna, it's about time, man. It's about time, Good. Mr. It's Potter. About time. Potter. <laughs> so, <laughs> in, uh, let's see. And also, I just call him Q, but Dr. Koresh Karula, who is a nephrologist and in truly one of my all-time favorite people. I've interviewed him several times, but he's back. We're going to talk about another specialty of nephrology. It is a growing trend. We're also going to talk about drug trials. I find it fascinating, mm -hmm. and it is staggering what goes into it and then what abruptly falls off the side of the cliff in a heartbeat, literally. We're going to talk about that. So, so far, that's what I know. Wow. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds wow. great. I it's mean, so fun. And, and, it is. And, and then at some point I'll have some shows that I know are coming from um, New York or, you know, beyond. beyond. I don't know. That, that I, I can't speak to the because I, I know the names, but not yet. The, traveling, cor the traveling correspondent. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> on my own dime. I Holding down the fort. Yeah, <laughs> right. down the, I know, the other thing I want to talk about, and I just want to touch on briefly, is that the, and we've talked about this all, we have all, and a lot of you have heard about this before, TED.com, TED, which is technology entertainment and design started in like 1984 mm. and I think that's when it was and it has become started off with originally just a thing that was in Palm Springs California it is now literally all over the world if you have a minute it could be two minutes it could be like Rudy Posh the lecture of a lifetime that was uh, maybe an hour and seven minutes uh, Steve Jobs uh, his last speech or his commencement speech that he gave is on there people you've heard of people you should hear of and listen to TED.com, go on it, check it out. And I'm going to be coming back to that off and on during my time here because I don't think there is a cooler site to, and they say you've got 18 minutes to give the talk of a lifetime. Really? It, is, yeah. it gives me chills. It's so Ted. impressive. Com. It's humbling to watch some of these people. Yeah. Windmills, just type in windmills. You won't even believe what you're going to see. Really? Yeah. So I'm telling you, can you believe it? Yeah. That's the show. <laughs> Wow. So season five. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. All right, before we go, I'm going to give our times. Here are our new times. Um, 5 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and midnight. I love the midnight one. All right? So do I. It's so cool. 5 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and midnight. David, what do you want to throw in as we go off? Well, it's, it's great working with two wonderful people <laughs> and a uh, uh, wonderful mentor and, and uh, two newbies <laughs> over here <laughs> yeah, <really>. and uh, <laughs> have yeah. a lot of fun. It's, yeah. it's been so exciting for yeah. me. I've, it's really been something I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed oh, it's been sweet. outside of what I normally do uh, mm -hmm. during the week, and I just absolutely love it. All right. So thank you thank, for that. No, yeah. thank you, yeah. Joan. Um, I, 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 I think this is my third year. Mm -hmm. I, think yeah. I, yeah. I think this is my third year, and I'm just like really still enjoying it. I'm yeah. still enjoying it, it so and I'm still like, oh my, here is an opportunity to share information. Right. You know, I and I and I just love it because it's just it just rolls out. It's not. It's you know, it, and it's, I just enjoy doing it, and mm -hmm. by it's all being in healthcare, it's just so natural yeah. to bounce things off each other, mm -hmm. and to see what even if it's if I'm doing something on kidney and Dave is doing that he's doing the nephrologist and I'm doing, I you know kidney I love foundation. yeah, and the Weight Watchers when you had uh, Florine, I learned from it, and it's so educational. So I'm just I'm just yeah. enjoying it. I'm enjoying. But as they say, I'm enjoying the ride. Right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Joan, Patrick Morse, thank you. David thank Bali, you. Dr. Thank Bali, you, thank you so much. All right, you know what? You've heard it here. Fifth season, we're really pleased. You know what they think about how valuable the information is that we have to share. You know what they think. Again, what do you think? Mm -hmm.